Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper for Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues today. Very special guest in the hot seat, one half of the 197-pound matchup that will take place at the 2016 All-Star Classic. Brett Farr, the All-American from Minnesota, joins us. Brett, how are you? Yeah, thanks for having me, Scott. Good to see you, man. I know you're excited about this. Um, I'm going to get into how your brother Chris perhaps feels about uh, you getting the invite and him him not. But uh, anyway, congratulations on being invited. You're going to be facing off against Brett Harner of Princeton. Let's talk a little bit about um, your history. First of all, you've, you've never met this guy. No, I mean, I saw him a little bit at Nationals, but I don't think ever, I don't know if he's any of the any of the other tournaments last year, so this will be a first. Are you excited about uh, being asked to represent the University of Minnesota in the All-Star? Oh, for sure. That's, I mean, that's great publicity for our school. And, you know, we've always had, you know, we've always had guys go like Chris Gardanes and Scott Schiller in most recent memory. So, I mean, it's just a great opportunity for me, but also for my school as well. Yeah, Scotty Schiller, there's a name I have a ton of respect for. Absolutely a great guy and a tremendous wrestler. Well, you look to do the same. You capped off last year with a 40-4 and four season, third-place finish at the NCAAs in New York City's famed Madison Square Garden. How was that for you? Uh, that's the world's most famous arena. Yeah, it was, I mean, that was really exciting. The atmosphere was great. There was a lot of excite, excitement from the fans, and um, it was just uh, it was. I mean, it's kind of hard to, I mean, during the competition, you know, I don't really go out there unless you know, I'm wrestling, so I try to stay away from that or else it'll kind of work out my nerves and stuff. But it was it was very cool and a great opportunity to wrestle there. Yeah, how different is LeSueur, Minnesota, to New York City, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really different. I mean, I grew up on a farm, so it's very two, two very different things. Growing up on a farm, raised animals, crops, or a combination? A uh, combination. We're a thousand acres corn, soybeans, and then we have a thousand head hog barn. Wow, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a lot of hogs. Yeah. Ho hopefully, there are other people on the farm working it, right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. My mom and dad mostly hold it down, so wow. I mean, they're busy. Always busy. Well, let's talk about this this young man you're going to be facing, Brett Harner. Uh, having never faced him, how do you prepare for a match like this? Well, I guess the first thing is this is the first match of the season, so I'm just slowly managing my weight, trying to get down. You know, I was about, at the beginning of uh, September, I was walking around about 222 pounds, and this morning I was about 211, so just slowly getting my weight down. That way I can feel good when I compete, and then I guess just getting in shape and just working on my, my craft as well. So, I mean, I might watch a little bit of film, but at the end of the day, it's about how, I'm, how I feel and how I compete. So, How are you feeling? I'm feeling great right now. I'm healthy, even for being a fifth-year senior, and um, yeah, just I'm a, I'm really excited to start the season. You know, I asked you in in a pre-interview interview, um, uh, who actually had recruited you, and you told me mostly Joe well, Russell, right? Yeah, Joe Russell started, and that would be so. It goes from Joe Russell to Brandon Egham and. Uh, of course, Jay Robb is, is mm -hmm. no longer in the picture, but uh, you've got a new head coach. Seemingly everything is settling down at the University of Minnesota, much to your benefit and, the, and the, that of your teammates. Um, is everything, as far as from your view looking out, is everything looking good up at Minnesota? Yeah, I mean, it's just good that, you know, we there was a decision was made. Um, it just that allows us to focus on our training and stuff. So, you know, Agam's been with, you know, he's been our head assistant coach since I came to school here. So, I mean, it hasn't been too much of a change. I mean, we still train very similar, and we still have that same attitude and mindset. So not a whole lot has changed, I guess. I mean, there's little tweaks here and there, but we're just excited to compete and put the past behind us and have a great season. You're one of those typical Big Ten guys. You like to score a lot of points. You're a hammer in on there. I think combined, you two guys, the two Bretts, if you will, uh, you and your opponent uh, combined for 45 bonus point victories just last year. And that's what fans love to see. They love to see high-scoring affairs. They like to see guys that are, are, are not uh, uh, tentative about putting points on the board. You're not one of those guys. No, yeah, I mean, that's just how I've always wrestled. I always to put points up. And, I mean, it'll be exciting. It should be a good match between me and, and Brett. So, like my head coach, Jagan, always says, he says, just put points up there. Who he said, who cares if you give up a takedown or two in the first period as long as you make the other guy wrestle and create action, good things will happen. 
We're talking with Brett Farr, the All-American from the University of Minnesota, home of the Golden Gophers. Now, if you would, compare and contrast yourself from what you know. You are six foot two, which is tall for any wrestler, really, but that's going to give you some advantage, I would think, at least in on the reach-ins. Talk to me about your style. Um, uh, my style, I guess, I again, like we were saying, is I like to be pretty aggressive. I have a pretty good um, single leg and high crotch for takedowns, and I guess I like to move around a lot. I'm kind of, I like, kind of a scrambler, so, I mean, if someone gets on my leg and I can't do basic defense, then I'll start spinning on them and stuff like that, and just, that's pretty high energy and fun to watch as well, so, um, I don't know, I guess aggressive and, and scrambly, and scrambly. When you when you put the uh, the headgear on, are you a different wrestler than when just wrestling without headgear? Does it feel like you have a different sense of protection? In other words, do you do you do you go into Superman mode? <laughs> well, I actually wrestle. I always wrestle with my headgear, even practice. So, I, I was gonna say your ears look pretty good. Yeah, I actually don't really have any cauliflower ear because my mom told me I was a handsome boy and I should wear it. So I'd... your your mother called you a handsome boy. Yeah, so I listen to her. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, when I when I have my maroon singlet on and my my head gear and I go out to compete, especially at home duels, I definitely feel I'm you know, I'm just ready to rock and I feel like I'm gonna beat anyone. So I wanna, I wanna go back to bonus points for a moment. Um you had eighteen major decisions last year. It was the largest number of major decisions by a gopher wrestler in over twenty years. Think about all the guys that have been wearing gopher singlets for over yeah. the last 20 years. And you, sir, have that distinction. I think that rocks. And the NWCA uh, did a really great job, I think, in pairing you guys up, matching you guys up. But 18 majors. Harner had 15 bonus point victories, including two falls. So this is, a, I think this is such a tremendous match. And if, if, I, if I'm playing my cards right and looking at everything I need to be looking at, I think this may be your hallmark match at the NWCA All-Star Classic. Uh, perhaps yeah. that's not a goal for you, but it is for me. I want to see the most exciting wrestlers in America on that mat to kick off the season. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm never shy of competition. I, I think it's great. He's a good competitor, and he's... I mean, just having him to wrestle the first match of the year, I, I mean, that's getting me excited. I'm training, I'm focusing really hard. And I guess going back to the 18 um, bonus points, or I mean, I could take that as, yeah, that, that's pretty cool, but I also need to probably work on my top a little bit. That's what I've been doing as well, so I can start getting more tech falls and pins as well, not just major decisions, because I did a lot of takedowns last year, and it was a lot of work. So Yeah, takedowns are a lot of work. That's why this show's named Takedown. All right. Largest number of majors by a gopher wrestler in 20 years. When you won your state title uh, at LeSueur Henderson High, uh, you added to that a total number of victories of 191. None of them easy. Uh, they are all all battles for sure. But uh, when you left high school and went on to college, what you ended up doing is seeing a whole lot of other guys that were state champions as well. Mm-hmm. Is, is, it, is the attitude and altitude so to speak of those you're wrestling have you noticed a big difference oh i mean it's just it's nine day high school to college this is a whole nother level of of mentality and physicality and i mean technicality as well it's just these guys everyone in the division one level especially in the big 10 they're looking to win they're looking to compete and so no match is easy i guess you know i don't take any of my opponents for granted as maybe i would have in high school but no, every time I step on the mat now, it's it's, it's serious because, I mean, that's the reason why we wrestle. I mean, you wrestle to, so you can beat anyone. So that's what their attitude should be when they wrestle me. And when my attitude is when I go up against anyone else as well. Yeah, I wouldn't wrestle you, okay? <laughs> Your career record currently at Minnesota, 89-19. and 19. Gophers at the event, at the All-Star Classic, have an overall record of 15-17-1. and one. Uh, Scotty Schiller was the last victor, and that was an overtime win over Missouri's Jaden Cox. Did you know that? I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, Jaden Cox. Man, what a, what a beast he is for the University of Missouri. <laughs> well, this is an interesting matchup. I know that there are people you would like to see at this event. If you could send out a, a personal invitation to anybody, who would it be? To anyone? Anyone. Well, I mean, definitely I hope to see my family there and a lot of Gopher fans show up. You know, it'll be exciting. I guess it's in Cleveland, but if anyone's around the area, definitely stop by. It's going to be a great, 
going to be a great duel and great match. Hey, Gopher fans travel well. Yeah. Now, will Chris, your younger brother, will he be in, in attendance, do you know? No, I mean, actually, November 6th, that Sunday, we have the Dactronics Open at SDSU. So that's where the rest of the team's going to be at, actually, and they'll be competing. Yeah, I forgot there might be a conflict in the... So, yeah, this is really sneaking up on us pretty quick. Pretty quick indeed. I want to uh, point out to our listeners out there that 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic information can be found online at the website. It's goallstarclassic.com or check out nwcaonline.com as well. Tickets start at 15 bucks for GAs, $100 preferred seating. Uh, there's socials and all sorts of information that you'll want to check in on. Uh, it will be streamed online at trackwrestling.com. So we've got some great matchups, folks. We hope you want to come out and join us. It's going to be an outstanding affair. My co-announcer is the hype man for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And recently, I don't know if you know, they won a basketball championship. Were you aware of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Isaac Jordan versus Daniel Lewis at 165. Gabe Dean versus Miles Martin at 84. Ty Walls versus Connor Medbury. That's a Virginia Tech-Wisconsin matchup. And then, of course, we have Brett Farr versus Brett Harner. It's Minnesota versus Princeton. Brett, it's always good to talk to you. I appreciate you taking time to jump into the Nike hot seat today. I hope you've had a good time. Oh, yeah, no problem. It wasn't too hot of a seat, but, again, thanks for having me. Well, it's still early in the day. I could call you back later. I guarantee you things will heat up. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Cleveland, Ohio, November 5th. All right. Well, I, I look forward to seeing you as well, Scott. Brett, thank you so much. For all of us at Takedown Media, we appreciate you watching this very special interview with one of those that will be wrestling in the 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic presented by the Brewer Garrett Company, hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network. I'm Scott Casper speaking.